the, the experience Martian gravity. But the best part was zero gravity. Everybody was floating around. It was incredible. Okay, so this is the space zero gravity. Why you want to go over there? Lot of benefits. I'm going to talk about it. So I'm going to show you another video. When you go to the space, how do you eat? What? How do you sleep? Good example. Those kind of things. Okay, その、ま、下に落ちる。なので、これが重力があるから下に落ちてる。で、世界から 見学をしてくれた学生たちなんです。で、ショーズユウヘンゴトゥデスペースアンドユウワントゥユスキッチェン。ですね。ショーズ。ディスコンプリティング。ソウェイプレパーディス。ファーストオブオールケーキナウ
その火星に、まあ、どういうふうに、えー、人間が過ごせられるかそれについて動画を見ます。This is the one sent from Florida, I mean from California, and it travels about eight months before it lands on the Mars. And in space, it travels without any force. Once it is pushed from the Earth, it keeps on traveling. And this is Mars after eight and a half months. It is landing. Uh, it is now entering into the atmosphere of Mars, which is the most difficult part. Most of the time it burns. Now you can see it is slowing down by the rockets. Those are the rockets slowing down and it is hitting the air and it is, becomes very hot. <laughs> That is slowing down, so it is releasing the parachute so it can land. Okay, so this is the robot finally landed. As you can see, it has solar panel. It can only work with the sun, sun's ray by solar energy. So at night, it cannot work. Now it is the morning over there in Mars. And it has cameras. It can move slowly. As you can see, this is the Mars surface. I can see it is slowly moving. It takes six hours to send a signal from Mars. And it takes six hours to send back any signal. Twelve hours. And it has a built-in um, laboratory, like it is making a hole, drilling. It can collect those uh, sand or the soil and find the properties of those soil on the spot. Right now it is scanning by spectrometer 
and then、uh, find the properties of those soil. So it is almost、uh, more than a year now over there. It is making survey, it is going everywhere, collect the information、uh, for human landing over there. So that human being can live in a place, they can、uh, have water and so on. It is from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Canada. フランスのカリフォルニア。この世界ではもう、え、ま、宇宙の中にどこにもまだ人間はいないんですが、ま、この車がいろいろ分析をして人間はそこまで行けられる、ま、行けられるかどうかをいろいろ分析をして、え、送
なので、えー、我々は、えー、コーラのコーラも読んでますけどもちろんコーラ読むこともすごい大事なことなんですけどコーラの中にもいろんな情報はいろんなことを書いてありますのでそれも、えー、少しずつ理解することは重要なんですなのでもう世界のいろんな、まあ、その優秀な頭がいい人たちがそのコーラの勉強してもうムスリムになりましたなのでコーラは我々のものなんです。なのでそれはすごい重要に、えー、読まないといけないということなんです。This is about the moon. It has a fault line. It's called Rocky Belt. As you know, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the early days of Makkah, when he was in Makkah, and he was asked by the non-believers, they said, "Okay, if you are really the Prophet of Allah, show us some miracle." So was that he can split the moon, and he did split the moon. So a lot of people wants to find out from NASA, as you know, NASA went a couple of times, but they did not dig into any areas. They just walked a few miles here and there. So there is no evidence, but we have this evidence from the Quran. Allah mentioned that he did he did split the moon, <coughs> and then when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam pointed his finger, it became into two pieces. And both pieces actually did, came down on the top of the two mountains in Saudi Arabia, and people around the world definitely saw these things. But in those days, there was no communication, so people do not know what is happening to the moon. But people who were living outside Makkah, like Medina, Taif, Tabuk, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred miles away from Makkah, they actually saw this split. And when they came to Makkah later, because Makkah was the business center, everybody come to buy Makkah. Um, things in Makkah, uh, they gave witness. Yes, you saw this thing on the top of the two mountains. And eventually, after some time, both pieces went back, and that is the moon we have today. これは何かわかりますか？わ<笑>かる人手挙げてください。何ですか？好き。わかる人？好きでいいですか？もう。これは好きなんですけど、その我々見てる、まあ、そのトラミアル好きなんですけど、ヨベンシャ・マハツ・アスランがいらっしゃったときに、えー、そのときムスリムはいなかったので、もう周りの,その非ムスリムの方々がヨベンシャ・マハツ・アスランの方に来て、えー、あなたは本当にヨベンシャであれば、アンラスバーナタラのヨベンシャであれば、この月を二段に分けてください。でそうすると我々はムスリムになりますというふうに、えー、言われたときに、アラスバーナタナの、えー、指示で、ヨメシャマーサーさんは手を指したときに、この隙がもう二段に分けて、この山の上に落ちているという、そのサファーとカイ,カイナン、この二つの山に、えー、落ちていった。で、また、えー、その数,、まあ、数分後。それはまた元に戻っていたで NASA その宇宙を研究している組織その組織がこれを、えー、そのなんていうか隙に上陸した時にこの2つ、まあ、2段に分けた証拠を見て本当にびっくりしたなので預言者ママサラさんが1400年前にやったことはもうちゃんとまだ証拠は残っているということなんです。This is, this is about the sun, this is the flame of the sun. It is so deep, if you bring the earth, it will be inside the flame of the sun. Not only one earth, if you collect 45 earths, like tennis balls, stack them vertically, all, all of them will be inside the flame of the sun. The depth of the flame is 365,000 miles. Earth is only 8,000 miles. <laughs> でこのサーバーは我々もう毎日朝見てます、まあ、朝から、まあ、その夕方まで、日の出から、その日の出から日の入りまでは見てるんですけど、この太陽はも,うものすごく大きくて、でまあ、ここに書いてあるんですけど、世界,世界よりも何十倍ぐらい大きいそのものなんですけど、世界からもすごい離れたところから、すごいその温度はも,うものすごく高くて。そんなに高いところからもここにまあ30度40度もその感じる
そういったその星が、えー、まあ三というふうに言われてますなので我々のためにアナソマの方はそういったものを作ってくださっているということなんです。This is about、um, meteorites. There are some、uh, little little piece of stones.、Uh, they have area where most of them are there. Once in a while, if it comes down a little bit, then it is pulled by the gravity, and when it comes to the atmosphere, they burn out. That is one of the theory that the dinosaurs we can see their we can see their bones in the museum, right? Dinosaurs you can read in a book, textbook, right? But you cannot find it. Scientists believe that they are killed by the asteroids. So this one, 2013, it came on Soviet Union in Siberia. And it hit the ground with the speed of 20 times the speed of light.、Uh, sound. これは何か誰かわかる人いますか？あとまあすごいことですことなんですけど、えー、まあ英語で言うとシューティングスターでまあ日本語で言うと流れ星で地球からいろんな、えー、石とかはもう世界の方に来てるんですけど。で世界の空気に入るとき瞬間でその空気と衝突してそれは燃えてるだからもう我々はもう一切気づかないそれはアナスマナダの、えー、もう兆しなんですだけどあるときにそこまあ一つ、えー、まあ石が世界の世界まで届いたこともあるんですけどそのときにそういうふうにもうその空気と衝突したそのあとが残っているということなんです。それはもう小さくてもものすごく、えー、なんですか力を持っている。で我々はもう今博物館に行ったらダイナソルその恐竜を見るんですけど、その恐竜は我々の、えー、もう、えー、何ていうか何億年前に世界にはいたんですけど、それがこの流れ星のヒットで。爆発でもうみんな、えー、お亡くなったということなんです。もうちょっと難しいなんですけど、まあこういう証拠なんです。And this is the place where it, it came down, and this is the size. It is about between five to six inches. A little piece of stone. Now, if a big piece comes to the earth, scientists estimate. That a big piece, like 150 miles in diameter. 150 miles means what? 150 miles, how many kilos? Maybe 200, 250 kilo. 1.6 kilo. The piece comes down. This can happen. Like that piece is coming down. It's a picture. It is not real. But if it hits hit specific portion, specific portion is the deepest portion on the earth. It is deeper than Mount Everest, more than seven miles. If it hits, all the water of the Pacific Ocean will spill over, and all the continents of the Earth will be completely destroyed in less than a second. Allah is saving us from those destruction. You can see it will burn for millions and billions of years. そこにもしこういったその流れ星が
でその広さは大体2 0 0キロ2 5 0キロぐらいの広さの石が世界に来てヒットしたらもう一瞬,、まあ、一瞬で我々もみんな死んでしまうなのでこの宇宙の中にたくさんそういった石があるんですけどアナスパナカナは我々,我々をそう,いうそういった危険によりもうみんなを、えー、いつも見守ってくださってる見守っていただいてるということなんですなのでいつも感謝しないといけないということなんです So, you are trying to estimate how long is the distance. Like you have one kilometer, 100 kilometer, right? So on. So, you are trying to estimate how long is one billion light years. Just to give an idea, if you go around the earth, you travel 25,000 miles. If the light goes around the earth, it will travel eight times in one second, like that. It already traveled eight times. See? And because light travels in one second, 186,000 miles. And this is for a minute, this is for an hour, this is for a day, this is for a month, this is for a year. If the light keeps on traveling continuously for one year, it will travel so many miles. どれぐらいかと言いますと、ここに書いてある、えー、2500、ここからもう世界を一周回って戻ってくるとき、今戻ってきたら、それは2500、ね、20, 20すみません、えっと、2万5000、2万5000キロ、えー、マイル。で、それは、えっと、一番せ、この、この、この、なんていうか、この宇宙の中で一番我々れその発見できた早いものは何かと言いますと、電気なんです光でこの光は、えー、もしその,一瞬そ,のなんていうかその光のスピードで世界を回せば1秒で8回世界を回せられる、まあ、回せる回転できるというその、まあ、そんなに速さなんですでその速さで、まあ、その速さは、えー、書いてあるんですけどその18万6千1秒で1分でこれですもうそのどんどん数字がなので1光年はこういったもうその数えられないぐらいの数字なんですもう,もうそ,、まあ、それでその宇,宙を宇宙の距離を計算しているそれでも,もう計算できないぐらいの、えー、もう距離はもう宇宙の中にもあります OK so this is one million and this is one trillion billion light years you can see the distance is so far Right? So Allah created all these things in between. Now about the black hole, we have to talk about the black hole. What is black hole? Black hole means about 100 years back, I, Albert Einstein, in those days they had no computers. They used to write a um, big, big equation, they used to analyze, they used to uh, say things. They proposed many things, postulates. So Einstein, he was doing his equation and he He concluded there is a big piece, there are some big, big pieces of uh, weight, very big, which is required to balance his equation. But he could not prove it because he cannot see the black hole. The black hole is a very difficult topic. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. But this black hole is. えーまあ、ちょっと昔にいた学,し学,その学者の一人方がそのアインスタインという方がすごいその、まあ、有名な方がいたんですけどその方がその時には今我々はまあコンピューターでは計算してるんですけどその時コンピューターもなかったし計算機もなかったしその状況の中でもその宇宙の中にこういったブラックホールがあるということを説明して。So, there over the time people analyzed his idea and came up with many theories, but nobody could prove anything because you cannot see the black hole.